Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the super important questions of module 1 of uh, UI and uh, these are the questions I will be discussing and I um, will be also discussing how to uh, remember these answers because these answers are very long and it has a lot of key points and how do you remember less and write more in the answer script those things we will be discussing in this video okay so uh, if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos like this your support helps me a lot so without wasting any more time let's get started the first question is benefits of good design so if you have a good design of ui what are the benefits that's the main aim of this question okay that's what they are asking now you only uh, think and imagine if you have a very good design what will happen your uh, time will be saved you will be easily be uh, able to do all the stuff what you want to do also you won't uh, be more stressed and frustrated why because you are uh, easily able to perform all the tasks which is uh, there on the screen the task performed will be very simple it will make your uh, pro productivity increased and uh, you'll be easily able to uh, do all the steps in the uh, time within the deadline so a uh, few of the benefits of good design are as follows what you have to write in the unscript is after getting to know these key points see one researcher for example attempted to improve the screen clarity and readability by making the screens less crowded less crowded means the apps were very far away from each other easily and clearly visible so what happened the result was screen use of uh, users modified uh, screen complete transactions in 25 percent lesser time Another researchers have reported reformatting the inquiry screens and making it good design saved a lot of time like 79% years in the uh, affected system and other uh, good uh, design um, benefits include the training time is reduced because easily you will be able to train the um, system and do the uh, things and employee satisfaction is increased so whatever good things come in your mind you have to write all those what is in the benefits of um, good design so uh, for more information go through it. The second super important question what we have is the direct and indirect uh, manipulation of the graphical systems. What is manipulation? Manipulation means interacting and making the changes. What is the direct and indirect method? Direct method means you are going and doing the same thing on screen. Like for example, if you click on menu of something, you'll be getting options like file, uh, open, close and uh, insert, delete, everything you'll be getting, right? Those are the direct manipulations. Indirect manipulation means you are making use of some assistant or something else and performing some action. For example, for the blind, they'll be using a pointer. For the uh, people who who are uh, disabled they will be using a uh, voice speech recognition right those things are the indirect manipulation Th uh, that those are the same things what you have to write here so in the answer script what you'll be uh, writing is the four uh, main points the system is portrayed as an extension of the real world because in real world whatever the function you perform the software is an extension of it right because uh, without the software our hard, uh, real world task will be very hard to do so uh, the system is portrayed as an extension of the real world that's the first uh, thing second is continuous visibility of the objects and actions whatever you want to perform will be visible on screen it will not become like after one minute it will become invisible no it, it does not happen like that right whatever you do you will uh, you'll be able to see all those stuffs and whatever the actions you perform that will also be visible and the actions results will also be incrementally uh, displayed on the screen incremental actions are easily reversible once you click a wrong option you can easily undo it right so those are the direct manipulations what about the indirect manipulations we'll be using some of the uh, concepts like instead of pop menus or the pull down menus we'll be using symbols for the uh, substitutes of uh, point typing okay for the typing will be substituting as pointing and substitute the word text uh, for the pull down and uh, pop up menus and why this is done is because we have the operations uh, may become difficult to conceptualize in the graphical systems graphic capability may be less and it may take a lot of space it will also be difficult for the people to learn and remember all the necessary operations and actions simple uh, few points are there just uh, go through it once and keep in mind don't try to buy heart it <clears throat> Moving on, we have the third super important question, which is advantages and disadvantages of graphical systems. All of these answers, you don't have to memorize a lot. You just have to go through it and write it now onwards, okay? Because it's not possible to memorize this many stuffs. So, uh, what are the advantages of graphical system? Go through the points, you'll get to know what is the pattern in it. Symbols are recognized faster than text. Faster learning. Faster use and problem solving. Easier remembering. More natural. These are all faster, easier and natural. Pick three points after reading five sentences. Fewer errors, increased feeling of control, immediate feedback, predictable system response. The feedback is nice, the errors are less. Easily reversible actions, more attractive, may consume less space. If there are images, images are recognized by everyone. It does not matter which uh, country the person is of, right? So that is what it replaces national languages. And it's aug augmented with the text, uh, text displays. If there is something written as text, some people may read it, some people may not read it. But the... Um, 
pictures everyone can recognize and low typing requirements if there is a image you can easily use that image right so those were the um, some of the key points uh, regarding the um, advantages of graphical systems moving on to the disadvantages of graphical systems what you have is the greater design complexity it is very complex to design such uh, nice uh, operating systems and learning is still necessary you, even if you make a very good uh, operating system or the graphical system you still have to learn and make it more further better right that's what about the uh, the disadvantages also we have the lack of experimentally de uh, derived design guidelines we don't have the design guidelines as um, uh, sure hundred percent sure we have lack of experimentally derived it's not experimentally tested not always familiar inconsistencies exist window manipulation requirements are also there and few tested icons exist inefficient for the test uh, test surface so what are the main three key points you observe from this one it is not efficient it is not experimentally tested it is not always familiar it is more complex and those stuffs okay so this is what uh, is there in the graphical system disadvantages okay next we have the characteristics of GUI a uh, second uh, uh, the fourth super important question is characteristics of GUI. Here also you just have to read the key point and if you want you can just go through the content here and afterwards you can uh, write it in your own words. So what is the main uh, key points present is sophisticated visual presentation. That means it's a uh, very uh, nice presentation in the graphical uh, user interface. You'll be having a very good interface, right? So let's take an example of you opening the laptop itself. When you open the laptop at that time what will happen is you will be able to obviously see the nice uh, icons in the screen, right? That's the first thing remember it in this way you open your laptop and you are able to see the system icons in a nice manner okay that was about the sophisticated visual presentation after that you clicked on some item that is what is called pick and click interaction after that when you click on some item they will be showing some options if you click in the right uh, mouse button like open menu edit and all those things are the restricted set of interface options you will not get to see all the hundred options you will be getting to see only a limited number of options that is restricted set of interface options after that when you click open it will be opening some app like a background screen will be running right that is called as visualization whatever you do it will be visualized first then you have object orientation that means whatever the task you will be performing it will be changing the object orientation it will be consisting of many stuffs like for example every uh, data, uh, paragraph may contain the sentence word and the letter and every data object can be of three types it can be of the data information or the container of information or the variables or it can have the physical objects of the real world in a visualization form these are the things which are present in the uh, representation and finally we have the user recognition memory and concurrent performance when you do something you will be able to remember it because it's al always visible on your screen right out of sight out of mind problem is eliminated here concurrent performance means obviously it's not like one uh, task you are performing that is only performed no there are 100 tasks going in the background which are not aware about those are all the uh, characteristics of uh, GUI Moving on to the next super important question which is GUI versus web. Okay, now uh, listen one thing to me. GUI is a secure and nice like uh, rich people and this is like a thief and very uh, useless and very uh, means poor okay like that you can remember GUI what are the things is it um, screens appear exactly as specified okay just keep listening to me you'll get the flow screens appear exactly as specified how you specify the screen to be appearing it will appear like that only in web what will happen it is influenced by the hardware being used since it is very weak it will be influenced by the external factors okay and user focus focuses is more on the data applications and information and navigation here the data in the application is the main uh, focus of the user and information and navigation is the um, focus of the web okay and data is typically created and um, created and used by the known and the trusted full of unknown content that typically uh, the data is created and used by the known and the trusted that means the uh, trustful people use the uh, data and web is used by the unknown people like the it is having unknown content in that information is uh, trusted sources are trusted sources are not trusted as i told you this is useless and this is very nice so all the good things are written here and the, all the opposite of that is written here okay so you just have to remember this uh, this one and you can uh, write the opposites of here okay and what are the user task what does user doing the graphical user interface install configure open personalize use close data and those things are done here here what you will do link to a site fill out forms upgrade the program and uh, register for services download the things familiarity and so on those things okay and presentation what you will do the windows menus control data toolbar and all are present here 
and whereas in uh, here what you will have the link and the uh, browser options and the URLs those things will be present here navigation will also be done by menus list entries here in the navigation will be done by links bookmark and type URLs so it's very simple GUI is very nice things like it will have the specific things sources are trusted information is nice it will be organized and it will have the menus bars and all and uh, whatever the thing is visible it is um, useful and it's familiar to everyone whereas all the opposite thing you have to write in the web like it is uh, not useful it is a uh, very insecure thing it has very much uh, content which is not nice it's not organized and it has links and the types urls and it is not secure and all the data is consisting of uh, unknown users and the data is not uh, verified and the people uh, are uh, not uh, trustworthy regarding this data okay these are the things you have to write for the gui and the web okay at least uh, five things you have to write for gui and the web Moving on, we have the principles of UID, which is the last question of the module uh, one super important questions. So, uh, the how do you memorize this one is just go through this. It's written in the alphabetical order. Read it uh, thrice, you will get to know uh, the flow. Like for example, read uh, just here with me and uh, note down the means. Hear to me what I say and note down what I am telling. Aesthetically pleasing, it's very beautiful. Clarity, whatever you have written in, whatever is there in the uh, user interface, it's very clear. Compatibility, different devices can be compatible with each other. Comprehensibility, it can be comprised in the same screen. Configurable, it is consistent. The You have the direct control over it. Directness, there is nothing hidden in that. Efficiency, familiarity, you will be familiar with the user interface. Flexibility, if you want to make any changes. Forgiveness means if you made any mistake, it will not shout at you. It will show you the possible options to recover from that. Predictability, you will be able to know what uh, you are going to do, what will be the uh, action for that. If you click and uh, open an app, it will obviously open an app. That's what predict uh, predictability is. Recovery means if you have lost some data, you can also recover it. Responsiveness, it will respond very nicely. Simplicity, it's simple. Transparency, whatever you do is clearly visible to you. Trade-off means if you save the space, time will go. If you save the time, the space will go. That is the uh, trade offs okay how do you remember this one is alphabetical order what is for a aesthetically pleasing what is for c clarity compatibility cons comprehensibility uh, configurability consistency and control d for directness e for efficiency f for familiarity f for flexibility and uh, forgiveness predictability recovery responsiveness simplicity and trade offs and uh, transparency just read it once and try to think of the alphabetical orders you'll easily get to know do it thrice okay so that's all uh, for the module one and if you found this video helpful make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one